On this day, 31 August 2023, State of the VTuber community was born out of the idea of conducting another hashtag Agatox episode, full of discussions related to the VTuber community and covering the news related to it. Since then, it continued to thrive through its comprehensive news coverage regarding recent events, some of which are controversial in nature, through special reports, as we try to understand how this will affect the community as a whole. Throughout time, we pushed through with updates from the platform this program's originally based on, and later on saw the push to cover other topics related to the collective and all things global scale. As we usher forward to a new beginning, let's take a look back at some of the most notable stories from the past year, and work on the next batch of monthly news to highlight this month. On our inaugural edition, the most notable topic that we featured is how a number of copypastas cause concern and confusion to the audience, especially when the VTuber alleges that they're about to graduate but in actuality they're not, signifying by their humorous attempt at the end of the statement. The third Maria also went down that same road, but due to unforeseen circumstances, most notably her chronic illnesses, that attempt became a reality. She has retired since 28 January 2024. Since the September 2023 edition, the program has included additional news that ties in with TBMSOC's parties and its related interests, one of which being the two men dead or alive collective, hashtag mom and Squad. But first, we covered Akio Air's upheaval with regards to it hiring a minor to be a part of its talents late. Wawa was behind the heavily scrutinized Princess Nofi. In turn, thanks to Night Owl Athena, formerly known as Athena, their talents begin resigning in solidarity over that and more which includes poor management, Overwatch in exchange for favors, and overall being a complete disgrace of a CEO. Due to those and other factors, including criticisms from its investors, Akio Air decided to cease operations last March 2024. And lastly, Sina Arisa began winding down its operations with the cessation of Global Edition. The Dead or Alive Collective began reporting on this news until its first cessation, with Emmanuel Tiga asking as the host of the program. Come October, we gave out an update on the Akio Air situation where we discussed the statements divulged by its former talents in summary, as well as discussing the implications of streaming with a childlike character while going the same route as Shigure Ui. In addition, we also covered the inaugural launch of Paranoia Festival which was conducted on the VStream platform. The first Maria showcased two out of three titles throughout the program. On the November 2023 edition, not only we covered the initial cessation of Sino Anisu through Global Edition, but we also covered the Aurora Live VR debacle which Aeos, aka the Snake Lady, divulged all the alleged infractions. In addition, we also covered the CCP's antics to de-anonymize our fellow Chinese VTubers as well as Sai Sai VT's Grand Ampon Ball, and the development updates regarding the story of the Marias during that time period. As we conclude the year with the December 2023 edition, we covered a whole lot of stories, from the recent Twitch meta that has caused upheaval thanks to MarkPie where the open letter was issued, to the formal debut of the First Maria. Also included is the first cosplay-related coverage, where the First Maria takes us to a journey as she also formally kicks off her debut as a cosplayer. Come New Year 2024, some significant moments happen that have reshaped Marias as a whole with the total departure of the third Maria from all social media. In addition, we also report the departure of Sino Arisu as a series, with the cessation of the Japanese edition, as well as Twitch Korea due to ISP fees. The first ever Leap Year episode is also the first attempt at converting the program to a podcast form factor, with coverages such as Labudaivu SIF2 Global Launch, Shonso's infractions and hardcore fans of Niji Sanji publishing names to send hate following Salen Tatsuki's termination. This month also features the conclusion to the story of the first Maria along with the publication of the first anniversary list. March 2024 is also significant as the most notable one we covered so far is the countdown to the cessation of VStream, where the program was birthed. As such, the episode became the very first to stream on YouTube. This also marks the first Maria's 31st birthday, to which she celebrated with the first ever Okasan ASMR. Come April, it's mostly gaming related news, as not only SAF2 counts down to a full month before its cessation, Takt Op Symphony has ended its service as well. The first Maria covered the latter for just 3 days. In addition, we covered some drama as well, as not only China based Aurora Live VR returns for round 2, at Nari El Mao jokingly states that lurkers are not to be appreciated in any shape or form, calling them cringe. This is also the first edition to formally feature news from around the world in replacement to VStream updates following the cessation. 
Come May of the year, it's all but sadness, as the edition features not only two obituaries concerning Siura Niten and Kabusu, the world's famous doge, it also covers the end of SIF2 with the cessation of Global Edition after 120 days in service. This also marks four years since ABS-CBN shuts down its analog and parts of digital broadcasting services due to former President Duterte's antics, fueled by Representative Marco Letta and former Solicitor General Kalida. In addition, the first Maria brought the cosplay experience back to home with her stint at BACon 2024, to which she first met the incumbent third Cosmaria. June 2024 has its own ups and downs as we cover multiple articles, from Sonia's unfortunate miscarriage to Mion Akuma departing from Aurora Live VR to Ankari Kuo's Hunger Games threat. Despite that, it's all good news for the collective as the first Maria conducts the second edition of Hashtag Hinavasri, where she paid homage to third Maria following her departure from socials together with the other members of the server that she was in. And for the final monthly edition to cap off the first season, huge changes have been put in place as it's the final episode of the live edition. During the month, we covered almost none when it comes to VTubers, but we do have some stints with San Neymana channel and the first Maria's unofficial inauguration of Cos Marias during Malcon 2024 Bataan Leg. Majority of the episode covers the Crouch Strike IT outage, dubbed as Crouch Truck or Crowd Zero, where the first Maria takes an in-depth look on how it happened and what sectors are affected by the outage. The first special report in a while following the consolidation of the reports together since the first one back in October 2023. With that out of the way, let's formally welcome the Season 2 of the State of the VTuber Community, where we cover VTubers and beyond since August 2023. My name is Mother Agatha, the first Maria, and today marks the first anniversary since the first unscripted episode back on VStream where the program first launched. It has been a long and tumultuous journey, but we're still working on bringing the past episodes together, along with covering other articles from our partners. Let's continue with the episode to learn more. 12 episodes spanning from August to July in chronological order are to be treated as a singular season, with this episode being the first of the second season. As such, we're still working on bringing the rescripted season 1 episodes to the platform as major circumstances hit the venture. The first Maria discussed what had happened in the 26th August stream, but she reassures that usual activities will not be going anywhere. Regarding the podcast order, our host platform Spotify per podcasters assures that it will be up to the publisher to rearrange the order just by changing the publish date of all release titles. With that out of the way, let's have some news from VTuber News Drop to kick off the anniversary edition. Production Kawaii's Aeonia celebrated their third anniversary with a special concert titled Everlasting Memory, which at the time of reporting is watchable for free on Nene Amano's YouTube. Aeonia is Kawaii's founding generation, first appearing on 28 April 2021. There are currently four members, Charlotte Suzu, Isla Coleman, Nene Amano, and Rena San. As of this report, it's currently featured on News Drop's main page. Mana Eventry has announced that she will be hosting a panel called The Launchpad at New York Comic Con, slated for 19 October. It will feature five VTubers, Ludomina VT, Nicholas Wraith, Violet Vainglory, Static Tokyo, and Norigori. In an interview, Mana stipulates that they will hold a live Q&A after sharing bits of important info about their ventures and how they started. Next, Trina Duhat, aka Admiral Trina, primarily known as part of the Jungle Tavern's Sangia unit and the English seiyu for My Dear Friend Nekotan, shares her thoughts for Teddy in a 20 August report about the song Final Act and its underlying process. She revealed that the song radiated a cool girl energy that radiates the feeling of feminism, like Beyoncé's Run the World Girls. She also said that the vibes for the Elast and the song needed to match up, so it would appear that she has a smug look. For the production process, Kuanano did the lyrics and illustrations, while Ajang Si did the composition. Trina also said that she takes inspiration from all VTubers who make their own songs, most notably those from Phoebe. She wrapped up the interview with a saying that just being honest with one's feelings can usher their lives forward. You can check out her activities and her current and upcoming ventures on X at, at Admiral Trina. Although we don't have any relevant news from the VTuber Collective for now, we do have some from its first sub-collective, Cosmanias. Let's have the following updates. Hashtag Aga Cosplay Invades Bataan Tour series officially kicks off last 24 August, with the first leg being at Limay. The first Maria, colloquially known as the incumbent first Cosmania, has been enjoying the tour despite the change of schedules. It wouldn't have been without Choji and Shani, 
who have accompanied her during the trip. For more details, check out her website at thebeloved.github.io. Our incumbent third cosmaria, Eddie, has been involved in some cosplays while the incumbent first cosmaria takes a well-deserved rest. She recently appeared at Gacha Fest 2024 at SM City Olongapo with an upcoming appearance at Supercon PH Festiblast Volume 2 at Festival Mall Alabang from 2 to 8 September. The last appearance together was back at Malcon 2024 Bataan Leg, where she portrayed Kamui Kana during Day 2 and Momobami Kirari during Day 3. In conjunction with the upcoming Balanga Leg Special, the incumbent First Cosmaria invites everyone to participate in the upcoming Kanex to Gakuen Sai 2024 that's happening at Vista Mall Bataan from 14 to 15 September. For more details, check out her Facebook at facebook.com slash as we almost conclude the anniversary edition, let's have the following news from the associates and beyond. Since 15 August, the hashtag Squad website has been in archive mode as the two men dead or alive collective prepares for its redebut with a new look on its fourth and exception anniversary. This initiative was led by the first Maria, the general manager of the squad, as she brings the designs to life. Such designs have been evident in other websites such as the VTuber Collective, which is due to debut on its second anniversary. Most activities will be moved over to Hex at at Mamanyo Squad for the time being while the development is still in progress. Meanwhile, the DOAX VV development staff has officially released the 31st overall Venus for the Japanese edition, Mech. She was intended to debut after Shizuka, but the folks on Global had Reka, with the staff from both editions contemplating about the sentiments from the Japanese fans staying ahead of the game. For reference, New Venuses go through Japanese edition first before appearing on Global, considering that the former was originally released in 2017 and the latter followed suit two years later. It was supposed to be the latter to step ahead in the game with the initially Global exclusive Reka. However, due to the Japanese fans' sentiments, the staff reached an equilibrium for a simultaneous release for both editions. The last time that they did it was with Tina. Either way, Hashtag Mamnersquad and TBMASOC, its parent company, congratulate the staff for her successful debut. Paris 2024 has been full of uncertainties, victories, and memes, including Turkey's Yusuf Diketch and China's Zhu Yashin. But this one brings Filipinos and Southeast Asians together, bands of joy. Carlos Edriel Yulo, also known as the Golden Boy of Philippine Gymnastics, has bagged not one, but two gold medals in the men's artistic gymnastics. This feat has put the Philippines in the center stage as fellow Filipinos celebrate the momentous feat in history since the first all-time gold medal earned by Heidelin Diaz back at Tokyo 2020. His historic win became the talk of the town for ASEAN countries and has since congratulated him on his win. Most notably, Singapore President Shan Mugarat Nam told Philippine President Marcus Jr. that his win is a real milestone for ASEAN. V3 Manias and TB Amasov congratulate Carlos Yula for his historic win and we wish him all the best in his future endeavors inside and outside the competition. It has been a bountiful episode and we're glad to have shared this newest milestone with everyone. Don't forget, S1 episodes are rewritten and some topics are either replaced or removed, but they're still available as live editions. For details, head over to the first Manias YouTube at youtube.com slash at slash podcasts. This concludes the August 2024 edition, also known as the Anniversary Edition of the States. This has been Mother Agatha, the first Maria, and we'll see you next time.